You ever just find yourself buried in your work? You see and hear all these sales and marketing ideas out there and you just want to implement all of them, but you've got a million follow-ups you got to do. You've got all this calling and editing and not to mention your kids need help with their homework and you've got to take them to all their after-school activities. How in the world are other photographers doing this? Where do they even find the time? The secret is time management. And I know that I've already done a video on time management, but this one's going to be a little bit different. The key to effective time management is figuring out how to be efficient with your time. How do you maximize your productivity? How do you leverage your maximum dollar per hour? What can you delegate and automate? That last part is going to be the focus of today's video. Now, out of all the non-shooting activities that we do in our work. This includes emails, consultations, contracting, invoicing, and even calling and editing. It's safe to say that calling and editing takes up the lion's share of our non-shooting time in our businesses. Now, as far as how Karis and I do this in our own businesses, all the stuff that I just listed, they're just all handled by either our virtual assistant, our in-house editor, or AI. At this point, the only things that Karis and I handle are the sales consultations, the social media, and the blogging. And even when it comes to all that stuff, we're always looking for ways to outsource those responsibilities. Now, that being said, Karis and I, along with our associate team, we photograph anywhere between 120, 140 weddings a year, every single year. And we do all the calling and editing with our skeleton crew of two editors <laughs> with a little bit of help from AI. That's over 240, 280 weddings or engagement sessions every single year. And that's just with our skeleton crew. And we can deliver all of this in roughly one third of the time that it takes everyone else in the industry to deliver their galleries. That's pretty impressive no matter how you cut it. And our editors accomplish this feat with two AI programs, Aftershoot for Culling and Imagine AI for Editing. Now, at the time of this recording, both platforms offer both culling and editing capabilities, but our workflow currently only uses Aftershoot for Culling and Imagine AI for Editing. This, of course, might change in the future, but as a full disclaimer, this video is by no means any commentary on either of these companies. I've always had great interactions with both of them. And as a matter of full disclosure, at the time of this recording, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by either of them. So I don't have any biased opinions either way. I mean, I do, but they're not financially motivated. This video is just a commentary on our own workflows and how these platforms make our lives so much easier, so much more efficient, thereby freeing more time so we can spend them on higher dollar per hour tasks in our work, like sales, marketing, or even shooting, ultimately making us more profitable. In other words, AI automation with a little bit of human help <laughs> helps us become more profitable in our business. We can now make more money because we now have more time to make more money. So let's talk about calling first. Both Aftershoot and Imagine AI offer calling services through their respective platforms and they both pretty much do the same thing. Now, I currently use Aftershoot because they were the first on the scene to offer this service, and I haven't really tried out the culling service through Imagine AI, so I can't objectively say that one is better than the other. All I can say is go try them out, see which one you like. Now, that being said, the only thing that I can speak to is the cost of using these platforms. With Aftershoot, you're gonna pay a flat rate per month or per year, regardless of your shooting value. And with Imagine AI, you're gonna be paying per project or per image. So if you were a volume studio like me, or maybe you're a high volume shooter like a school photographer or a senior photographer or whatever it is, right? A flat rate option is going to look very attractive, especially from a financial standpoint. But let's say you were a low volume brand doing maybe five or 10 weddings a year. The flat rate option might not make as much financial sense. So if you're a low volume brand, then Imagine AI might make more financial sense. Now, as far as efficiency goes, it doesn't matter which company you end up using. Something that would normally take a couple of hours to complete by human hands now take less than an hour to complete with the help of AI. Even if you have to correct some of the stuff that AI did for you, or maybe you have to spend some of your time recovering some of the images that AI rejected, you're still not spending four to six hours culling by hand. All that work is now completed in 10, 15 minutes with AI, with however much time you want to spend spot checking the AI's work. Now, in terms of time savings, we are talking days, if not weeks, of time that you now have on your hands that you can spend on your sales and marketing, or maybe you can use that time to spend with your family and your friends. Now, the thing that you'll want to remember is that no software is perfect. At the end of the day, it's still a machine and it's simply a tool to help make your life a little easier. Now, the bad news is that you still need to spot check it from time to time, especially in the beginning. But the great news is that this software is always learning, constantly learning from your feedback, and it's only going to get better and better every single time. The long game here is that eventually you'll only have to spot check it a little bit, just a little less and less every time you use it, freeing up time for you to do other things. Now that your images are called, let's talk about editing, which is another big time investment for many of us wedding photographers. Now, just for a point of reference, if I were to hand 
edit all of my images in the middle of my off season where I didn't have to answer any emails, write any blogs, post on social media, or do any sales consultations, eat or use the bathroom or sleep, I could theoretically finish editing an entire 10 hour wedding with two shooters. I can edit about a thousand frames in about a day, day and a half. This is with 13 years of experience. And this appears to be close to the same speed as my equally experienced wife, as well as our lead in-house editor, Retoucher. It takes us about a day to a day and a half to complete a full 10 hour wedding start to finish. Now with the help of AI, we basically cut that time down by 50 to 70%. Something that used to take us one to two days now only takes us several hours, including the time it takes for AI to get our images onto their servers, put the little magical unicorns and their elves on it, right? And then spit it back to us. Then we spend whatever time we want to spend on the images, spot checking the AI's work, tweaking it here and there, and it's good to go. Here's where many cynics in our industry complain about AI. The work that we get back from AI only gets us to about 70%. A human editor, whether it's a third-party editor or even myself, we can get that deliverable up to 90% to 100%. But with that complaint, I ask you this, what is the turnaround time on that? If you outsource to a third party, your best case scenario is a day or two, but you're probably looking at something closer to one to two weeks. During the peak season, you could be looking at anywhere between one to two months. AI can get that wedding back to you in 15 minutes. And even if you are doing it yourself, you're not going to get it to 70% in 15 minutes either. You are saving time no matter how you slice it. Besides, isn't the whole point of automating and delegating your work to free up time so you can do other things? So that way you're not stuck behind a desk calling and editing? 70% in 15 minutes is not bad at all. The other complaint that I see a lot is, well, I still need to do a lot of adjustment brushwork and spot corrections. But let's be honest here. How many of those images out of your gallery of a thousand images actually needs a tremendous amount of brushwork? Probably just the portraits, right? For most of the gallery, there might be some light brushwork here and there, but for most of your presets, the white balancing and the tone curves are already done for you. That's 90% of the work on most of your images in your gallery. Again, that's time that you're saving. Time that you can now use to do all the brushwork and all the spot corrections that you want to do. The other complaint that I hear is that it's expensive. I can unequivocally tell you that it's not. Think about what you charge per hour of shooting. For most of you guys out there, I know you're charging anywhere between 2,500 bucks to 5,000 bucks for a 10 hour day. This means your dollar per hour of shooting is about 200 bucks to 500 bucks. At the time of this recording, to edit about a thousand images through Imagine AI, it's gonna cost you right around 50 bucks. If you're running a high volume studio and putting it through Aftershoot, then it's gonna be even cheaper. And regardless of which platform you use, you might spend a few hours hours after that to spot check the work anyway. For a human editor to do the same exact thing for you, you're probably looking at anywhere between 300 to 500 bucks per wedding. You're probably gonna spend some time checking them as well. So let's do the math. You can pay a human editor a couple hundred bucks to edit a wedding for you. Get it close to 90%, 100% or whatever it is. And you can use that eight to 12 hours of time that it's now freed up that you can now use to shoot a wedding and earn another 2,500 bucks or 5,000 bucks or whatever it is that you charge for coverage. You are now spending three to 500 bucks in order to earn 2,500 or 5,000 bucks. That is a 10 X ROI. You can also pay AI to do it for you, spend 50 bucks and maybe spend a little bit more time on the back end with the spot checks and the corrections because again, it's probably gonna get you to about 70%. Now you have anywhere between three to 11 hours freed up, which you can now use to maybe shoot a mini session, an engagement session, or maybe even a wedding, allowing you to earn a couple hundred bucks to several thousand in exchange for those 50 bucks that you just spent on AI. Now who wouldn't spend 50 bucks in order to potentially earn several thousand? Now you're looking at anywhere between 10X to 100X ROI. I would take that trade every single day and twice on Tuesday. And let's say you wanna do it yourself. No AI, no human editor, you don't wanna spend any money. This means you are at your max efficiency once the hours in your day are used up. Your earning potential is now capped. You won't be able to take on any more work. But let's say you're only shooting like 10 weddings a year and you've got all the time in the world to do all of this yourself. Wouldn't it be nice to claim back 100 hours of your life back every single year? Couldn't you use that time to maybe relax, sleep in a little more, spend a little bit more time with your friends and your family, or maybe take a long overdue, well-deserved vacation? I know I would. At the end of the day, it's about maximizing your dollar per hour. It's about freeing up your time from doing all this time-consuming, nitty-gritty work, so that way you can do other things that I'm sure that you'd much rather be doing, like spending time with your friends and your family, or using that time to help you make more money. Now listen, if you absolutely love calling and editing, more power to you, but I know that I speak for a vast majority of photographers out there in the industry who would rather not sit behind a computer for hours and hours every single day calling and editing images. AI calling and editing is the universe's gift to you and it's affordable and it's easy to use. Is it perfect? The honest truth is, is that it's not, but it's pretty damn close. Now, as far as which platform I'd recommend, Aftershoot or Imagine AI, try them both and see which one you like. Some people are Nikon people, some people are Canon and some people are Sony's. Maybe you're an Eagles fan and maybe you're a Giants fan. Everyone has their reasons for why they prefer one brand over the other. And you're gonna have reasons why you prefer one AI platform over the other. The best news is that they're both free to try out and they're both super affordable 
comfortable to continue using them if you decide to go with either one of them in the long term. No matter how you look at it, AI is here to stay, and it's already helping many of your peers and competitors save so much time, time that they are now using to shoot more weddings, nurture their relationships, and market to their target audiences. And unless you are also doing the same, you're gonna be working at a disadvantage. Hypothetically speaking, you could employ humans to do all this stuff that I'm talking about here, right? But it's also gonna cost you 10 times as much for just the marginal gain on your end product. And if you're gonna ask me to spend 10 times as much for just a little bit of improvement, that might not be the best investment advice that I would recommend. Anyway, I don't have any affiliate links that I could share with you. Try them both out, let me know how they work out for you. If you are already using these platforms, let me know which one you prefer and why. Let's get that conversation going. I hope that by at the end of today's video, you now have another tool that you'll have at your tool bag, which will help you free up some of your time, thereby allowing you to focus on more of the fun stuff in your business, like taking pictures, meeting with your clients, make more money, and of course, do all the sales and marketing stuff that you've got to do for your business, which I think is the fun part. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and invite your friends to the party. If you guys would like my help to help you attract your dream clients, set your marketing on autopilot, and book like crazy, please go ahead and visit benlau.com slash education, where you can learn a little bit more about my sales and marketing course and coaching program. As always, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.